Hey guys, and welcome back. I wanted to do our morning routine so you could just kind of see. It is 7 o'clock, and it's a little rarity that I'm still in bed, but honestly, it's been like this the past couple days. I never know how long the twins are going to sleep or Bridget, but it's been pretty good. So, here we are. Hi. Hi. She sleeps in her bassinet next to the bed. She came in here at 6 o'clock and actually fell back asleep for an hour, so... She just woke up. She's a good girl. <laughs> I just heard the twins. My husband went to get them, so we will get started. I will get up. I will get Bridget a bottle. They will get milk. My husband's actually going to the office today, so he'll get ready and go. And, yeah, and then you can see the rest of our morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. You're such a sweet girl. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. You're a good girl. You want to get a bottle? Okay. Oh, good girl. So my husband left for work. I just cut two apples and took the skin off that they took a bite and left, which is pretty par for the course. Hopefully they'll come back to it. Changed a couple diapers and Bridget is just playing until her first nap. And that's when we really get going. So I have to admit, we don't really have like a true routine. So I'm posting a routine, but more just to let, you know, people know that it's okay to not have a strict routine we don't have anyone to get out of the house we don't have daycare to go to we don't have preschool we rarely have a schedule in the morning we rarely have an appointment usually i don't schedule them early so honestly we don't really need to get out of the house so it's kind of a loose routine but it's the same routine every day that we do <laughs> so yeah so it's pretty much the same thing every day it's just kind of loose so we kind of just hang out until Bridget's first nap. When Bridget goes down for her first nap, I usually try to get a workout in. They will play in their playroom or color or something. And then after that is really when we get going with breakfast. And sometimes that can be 9.30 or 10 o'clock. That's when we really get going with breakfast and we change our clothes and we kind of get ready for the day. So our mornings are slow. I think that's one of the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom. Mommy, what? Mommy, what? is that we can have pretty slow mornings. So that's Wait, kind of a benefit. A so for right now, we're just gonna continue. I'm gonna go wash the bottles quick. I did because my husband was going to work today and it's kind of the first time he's been back consistently since, you know, the pandemic started. So I knew I wouldn't have him at lunchtime. So I threw in laundry last night so I wouldn't have to worry about it today until I can get into a better routine without him here. Now again, he works upstairs, he works all day, but he'll come down at lunchtime and help and that was huge and sit down here for like his break. But anyway, I gotta get into a routine without him. But I put laundry in last night so that I didn't have to worry about it. So I just have to get that out of the dryer at some point today. So anyway, that movie is kind of loud, but I am going to wash bottles. I moved Bridget from her floor mat to her bouncy seat just because she kept flipping herself over which is fine, but she gets kind of irrit irritated when she flips herself over. So I'm just gonna wash the few bottles from last night so that I can stay ahead of it. And they're gonna finish their movie and then we will move on. So typically I also try to make our bed really quick. Honestly, if you take the 30 seconds to do this, it really makes a big difference in your day. It makes me feel better when I go to bed, that it's all made. And then when I come in here throughout the day, because our bedroom's off the living room and it's where Bridget naps, I don't feel like so disheveled. So I don't necessarily do a ton of cleaning in the morning, but this is something that I do like to do.
So Bridget's gonna go down for a nap. I'll watch her until she falls asleep. And then I will do a quick workout. I've been kind of trying to do them daily. Just, you know, not on the weekends, but as much as I can for my postpartum body, especially because we're thinking about having one more and I wanna make sure I'm kind of back where I was. Nothing serious. I use Nourish Move Love. She's on Instagram. She's on fit, um, YouTube, completely free. She does some great stuff. She has pregnancy, postpartum, strength, runner, high intensity, cardio, anything you can think of and it's totally free and I love it. So I, that's not sponsored, I wish it was, but just something great for you to check out because it's free. And as a stay-at-home mom, you need free. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to start doing that. I think my son's going to finish his movie, so I'm going to do it on my computer. I'm going to watch Bridget and yeah, and then we'll get moving. So I was able to take a shower. That always depends on the baby. She woke up right when I got out of the shower, which was good. The twins are totally fine when I'm in the shower. Our house is completely toddler proof. The baby, I, the showers, the bathroom's not big enough to bring her in. So she'd have to sit outside the door and it's just, I'd rather her be asleep. So she just woke up, which is great. I am gonna do really quick makeup. Just kind of make myself feel better it's for nobody else. I'm not going anywhere. And then I'll get Bridget. Hi, sweet pea. Hi. Did you have a little nappy? <laughs> So now we're gonna get everyone dressed. I'm gonna get Bridget up and dressed. I'm going to get them dressed. I will get them breakfast. I will get Bridget a bottle. And then that's about our morning. So we officially start our morning, I would say about 10. That's when our morning's officially going because everything's done and everyone's dressed and we've had breakfast and we can move on with our day. One dressed, two to go. <laughs> Everyone's dressed. Let's go down, down. So no one is really hungry because they had some apples this morning. Usually when my husband's here, I cook more of an actual breakfast, eggs or toast or oatmeal or something of that nature. He's actually in the office today, so we'll skip that. I know they asked for a snack. So they decided they don't want breakfast. That's fine. I had a shake in the morning. So I'm going to make Bridget a bottle. Everyone's dressed and we are going to head outside. So that is kind of our morning routine. I hope I shouldn't be eating apples while I'm doing this. I hope this helped. You know, I'm a stay at home mom. I know working moms, you can't really work out at nine in the morning, but I hope this helped. It's kind of not a routine routine. So I just want you guys to know whatever works for you is totally fine. You don't have to have your kids up and ready at 7 a.m., ready to go raring to go you can ease into your morning that's one of the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom so i hope it helps it's not like a totally structured routine it works for us we do it every single day the same thing they kind of know what to expect they don't ever even ask for breakfast till around 10. if they ask for it before obviously i'll give them something but this is just kind of our little routine and it works so i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i hope that you subscribe and like and come back for more and let me know what you'd like to see i love to share hopefully it helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.